everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. In the last episode, we uh, went over communicating. Uh, oh, well, it's still broken. Uh, I think if I rerun it, it's fixed though. Communicating information from one activity to the next. Uh, in this case, on button click, we pass in the title of this little card uh, to this next activity and then we present it to the user there. Um, so if you missed that, go ahead and and uh, back up a little bit and get uh, get going on that episode. Um, but today, as promised, we are going to start the discussion about a recycler view. Uh, I mentioned in the last episode um, that recycler view is just super powerful. Um, it's it's really probably also one of the most common used um, uh, uh, views in the Android framework. And uh, once we get going with it, you'll not only see, ah, right, okay, every single application has this, um, but uh, you'll also see just how powerful it is and realize how flexible it is, uh, and then start questioning everything about every app you've ever seen about how it's built under the hood, <laughs> because it's it's a little mind-blowing once you once you really understand how, um, how powerful and, and stackable it really is. Um, but just know that if you scroll through any kind of a feed, uh, i.e. Instagram, um, that is 100% powered by uh, a recycler view, without a doubt. So um, we are going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, we're just going to drop one down here uh, beneath this card view. Uh, and so in the editor, you can actually hit these little minus signs, and it'll kind of collapse things that, uh, you know, everything that's inside of here, it'll collapse. Um, so it's all still there, nothing to worry about, but uh, maybe we'll just collapse the inside one. Um, just so you can kind of see a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead, open tag, and hit uh, good old Android X Recycler view. Uh, width we're going to call match parent, and height we're going to set to zero dp because we're going to set the height with our constraints. So we're going to call this Recycler view. Um, we are going to constrain the start to the start of the card view. We're going to constrain the end to the end of card view. Eh. Look at that, I already messed up. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Eh, let's set it also 0 dp. All right, so now theoretically this thing should be nothing. Uh, width and height are both set to 0, uh, but we'll fix that in a second. So we're going to do bottom to bottom of parent and constraint top to bottom of card view. And so now, uh, with a little margin top of, let's say, let's give it some more, let's give it 16. Um, you can now see that this, even though it's set to 0, 0, because of the way we've defined our constraints, we've said, you know, begin here and here horizontally, begin here, move yourself 16 from it, and then end here uh, vertically. So um, this is quite nice. Um, and also, if for whatever reason this card view were to expand or shrink, um, so would this view. So we're not going to get into that in this video or even in the videos uh, you know, coming after this one immediately, but um, that is kind of the power of the way that these constraints work. They uh, really allow for like a reactive design uh, and UI so that when something changes, if things are tethered to it, it also reflects those changes, uh, which is just like really convenient for you uh, as a developer and uh, although it might be a little difficult to um, get going with it at first uh, you know once you understand how things work and how the system will react to specific layout changes it really can work to your advantage tremendously so um, I also want to note that this is most definitely not going to be a single video uh, the recycler view you can probably have an entire season about it to be honest um, but it, uh, it, uh, we're not going to do that. We will take our time with it though. We're going to start small and we're going to uh, load some items in here. Um, so what is a recycler view? Um, what we've seen so far with our layouts here is that the, everything that we put in the XML is what we see on the screen, right? And so there's no, um, I guess uh, there's really nothing other to it than that, right? It's, it's kind of a static UI. 
there's no um, there's no variance to it. There's no change, uh, you know, nothing like that. Um, the recycler view, however, is a, an enhanced version of what they call the list view, and it will actually allow you to um, essentially stack things horizontally or vertically, uh, depending upon which way you set da -da -da, the orientation uh, attribute. So for this one, we're going to have it set to be vertical because we want this list to basically scroll here, um, up and down instead of left and right, and uh, we will just kind of, you know, show that pretty, pretty simply. Um, we're going to go ahead and really quickly create another layout file. Um, so wherever you are, just get to your layout package. You can either, um, you know, uh, right click from here, or if you have this view open, you can right click or double, double tap on that. And it'll actually open the project view to your, uh, to the destination. And we're just going to say layout resource file, uh, the file name, we're going to say view holder. Uh, that'll be something we'll talk about in a second. View holder. Um, let's just say text view. Yeah, sure. It's going to be super simple. It's literally just going to have a text view in it. So um, we're going to go with that. One key thing to note here, um, wrap height needs, or sorry, height needs to be wrap content. I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, we're just going to do wrap wrap. I'm going to give this an ID of text view. We're going to call the text size 14 SP, text color black, black, constraint start to start appearing, constraint top to top appearing. Okay. Uh, we're also just going to give this a little bit of padding and let's just go with 8 dp. Okay, um, so if we, we can imagine that the text here is just going to say text view, right? So it's a very simple element um, that has a constraint layout that wraps itself. It's actually a very small layout. It's literally just this. It's not the entire screen. And the only thing inside of it is a text view. We can actually condense this down to literally just the text view, um, but we're just going to leave it as is for now. So the idea here is that this layout that we just made, that little text view, is going to be the layout that fuels basically every element in this list that we're going to be able to scroll through. And as the name suggests, Recycler View, um, the, the power of this uh, 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 view is the fact that it actually recycles views, meaning that as you scroll things off the screen, if you could imagine your Instagram newsfeed, as you scroll posts off the screen, either vertical, you know, uh, up or down, um, instead of you know having, let's say, you scroll through fifty posts, instead of having fifty posts uh, stored in memory, and so it's basically just going off screen, and then when you scroll, you know, down or up, uh, they come back on screen. There's probably only about one or two posts that are stored uh, in memory other than the one that the one or two that you're you know viewing in your visible screen so the idea is kind of like as you scroll from item 0 to item 10 that the uh, system will only have the views for items 8 9 10 11 12 in it and uh, all of the other views you know 1 through 7 have now been uh, released the resources have been released uh, and and the memory has been freed up Etc. So that is why you can kind of accomplish this infinite scroll, because you are not constantly inflating views, constantly creating this massive uh, UI under the hood. You actually uh, kind of create a skeleton of the UI. If you can imagine the post uh, view, right? It has the image. It has a little place for you to like it, a comment, some text, you know, views and and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, you create the skeleton for that UI and then you recycle that skeleton uh, however many times you need uh, as people scroll or, or as your list grows or whatever and, and in the purposes of Instagram, uh, it's infinite, right? I mean, it'll constantly page to, to the next, you know, batch of posts um, and, and you'll just, you know, continue scrolling until 
I don't know, you you run out of battery. <laughs> so, um, uh, sorry, there wasn't too much visually going on on the screen there. I just kind of wanted to talk out loud about the idea of it and and how it's going to function, um, and and the fact that we needed to create this layout here because this is the layout that the recycler view is going to um, inflate the entire time. So there's actually something that we can do. Um, yeah, there's two attributes here, tools item count and tools list item. So I'm going to set item count to 12 and I'm going to set um, the list item to our layout file we just made, view holder underscore text view. So once we do that, you can see this completely changed. If you missed it, um, it's kind of just like this is the standard you know, when you when you put the view on the screen, it kind of just says items zero through whatever, it, however many there are. In this case, twelve. Um, and then once we tell the system, hey, we want to see what this would look like if we inflate this, um, this layout, it'll actually do that for us. So you can see here that the layout that's called text view is actually now duplicated here twelve times. And you can see this one scrolling off the screen, and it didn't count. But let's say there's only ten, and then there's like you know another one down here and then another one down here as well. Um, and so as you were to scroll this uh, view, uh, the ones on the bottom would kind of shift up and the ones from the top would go out of view and you would kind of, you know, kind of just slide uh, this little window here over um, the entire list of items that you wanted, that, that you have to, the data that you have to show. So um, this is all you need in the layout, from the layout perspective. You just need the view defined here, um, and then you need, in this case, we're only going to worry about one view type, so you need the uh, layout for that view type. Um, you know, in the future we'll get into headers and, you know, different view types and, um, you know, uh, really how you can kind of, uh, you know, build just a fluid UI in a text view, uh, sorry, in a recycler view, um, and we will, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But for now we're going to start small. Uh, and, and in the next video, we are going to go ahead and dive into the code. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and comment this out, to be honest. And we are just going to start from scratch down here uh, to actually build what is called the Recycler View Adapter, which is going to be the class that uh, handles translating data that you have in your application to views on the screen. So uh, we're kind of stepping up in complexity a little bit here. So hopefully you're still following everything. It's still super simple um, when you break it down. So uh, have no fear. We will, we will go through everything together um, in, the, in the next few videos. But like I said, we're going to break this up into a few parts. So I don't want to turn anything into you know half hour, hour long videos. So I'm going to pause here um, and we'll pick up with part two in the next episode where we actually get into a little bit of code and uh, maybe we'll actually start being able to scroll and seeing something on screen. All right, I'll catch you there.